So, if you don't know, Six Flags and Cedar Fair are merging, which is causing some problems and might cause some parks to be sold off. But there's one ride that I think is saving parks from it being sold, and in today's video, I'll be telling you guys which ride I think that is. What's up guys, Cam here, and now before I get into today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on all of those notifications, and let's get straight into this. So, Six Flags and Cedar Fair are merging. As we all know, they are adding to each other's lineup like crazy. They are, are adding, combining to both companies, and with that, there is the possibility of some parks getting sold. As we know, they have a bunch of debt that they need to pay off in the near future, and I have an idea of what ride I think is saving these part specific Six Flags parks from being sold. And you want to know what that is? That's Justice League Battle for Metropolis. This is a more of a dark ride by Sally Corporation. The off-ride footage that I'm putting up is is the is other rides like Superman, Tatsu, that stuff. I'm putting it up right now because there's no off-ride footage of Just League Battle for Metropolis, but that does not matter. Let's get straight into this. So Just League Battle for Metropolis, a Sally Dark Ride's dark ride. It is a DC themed dark ride that is put into many Six Flags parks. And why do I think this is saving it? Well, let's start it off with the IP. This is the big reason why they are not selling it off. The there is a bit of dilemma with Six Flags and DC. If they were to sell it off, they would have to retheme a ton of stuff into DC. Think about Darien Lake. The only reason that they sold Darien Lake off is because they could get rid of Superman Ride of Steel easily and turn it into Ride of Steel. But Justice League Battle for Metropolis is very hard to get theming off. Think about it. Roller coasters, they're easier than you think to get rid of. To get rid of the IP. I mean, think about it. You could get rid of Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind in an instant. Especially with Six Flags, you can easily get rid of those, those super, like, DC hero names. You could easily get rid of those in an instant. But Justice League Battle for Metropolis is a dark ride based off of the Justice League, which is a DC character lineup. And DC is a... IP and the weird thing is Six Flags might lose that contract sooner or later. You see, the reason why I think they might lose that contract is because something might happen. But the contract states that it, DC theming cannot be at any sold off parks, and if a park is sold off, then they can't have it anymore. So think about it. This ride is based off. They can't change it. They can't change. The way that this works they can't change anything about it without you can't remove any of the ip without removing the entire ride think about it the multiple animatronics the multiple especially like the outside the outside is the hall of justice and it makes you really think like hmm how would this be like pretty cool this would be pretty interesting to see it without the hall of justice well it would just look like a show building if it didn't and then think about it all the animatronics the pre-show you know what they could change the pre-show but the cyborg animatronic would have to be replaced with someone else they would have to change so much of it that i just don't think it would be worth it it would be much less of a hassle if they were to just remove this right and i don't think that parks would be willing to remove this right as you think surprisingly justice league battle for metropolis is actually a really popular ride it is a big ride that many people ride a lot i i love justice league battle for metropolis it is one of my favorite rides of all time i've only rode in the one at six flags magic mountain but it is still one of the best rides that i've ever rode in and the only reason that six flags is not selling off these parks is because they still have this ride i mean think about it they put it to their most popular parks that have dc universe they had, they have Magic Mountain, Great Adventure, Great America, St. Louis, and Over Georgia. And those parks are one of the best in the Six Flags chain. I mean, you could make an argument for some of the other parks, but other than that, all the other parks are pretty low tier parks. I mean, I could see a Justice League Battle for Metropolis coming to more parks. 
like i could see it coming to possibly six flags america but more likely six flags discovery kingdom and i wouldn't be surprised to see it come to discovery kingdom but that's for a different video why dc should go to i i don't know what i'm talking about guys all right let's get back to topic it is saving these parks and these parks are most likely not going to be sold i mean it's guaranteed for the first three they are not selling off magic mountain six flags magic mountain is just way too iconic to just get rid of just get rid of those rides get rid of that park it's way too built into the six flags chain especially with parks like great adventure and great america those parks are gonna stay too they're some of the highest tier six flags parks and then st louis and over georgia i think that they probably won't be getting sold off but it's there's still a possibility that they could get sold off but to, i think that this ride is saving it as you know i think there's just a marker for parks that aren't getting sold off and that really makes you think a little bit and that's the same thing for cedar fair i mean think about it they have camp snoopy and they have camp snoopy and all the parks that they aren't going to get rid of i mean carol wins cedar point to end king's island and king's dominion all have planet snoopy theming and and it could and they probably aren't getting sold off sooner than later but that is just what i think on this situation i want to know what do you guys think in, about the just league battle for metropolis saving the six flags parks from being sold off make i'm gonna give some shout outs real quick make sure to go check out theme park studios was airtime thrills and thank you to kenobi coasters for this off-ride footage and make sure to join me in exactly 26 days until the next trip for me to magic mountain and or 25 I meant, but that doesn't matter. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on all those notifications. And I shall see you all in the next one. Goodbye.